today I'm going to show you how I prep CDs for Amazon, for my Amazon shipments. So what we're going to do is envision this to be a pile. So I will put all of my CDs, take them out of the bags, put them into piles. I'll usually put them into two different piles, one pile that has stickers that need to be removed and one pile that does not have stickers that need to be removed. A couple tools that I like to have is a rag, which is dirty, rubbing alcohol, which is essentially this, put into a nail polish bottle remover, which works very slick. You just go like this, and then you have a wet rag to wipe. The CDs, obviously, Scotty peelers, extra pads. I keep this paper here in case I need to write notes. It's just the back of a um, stuff that they put into the CD case and some sticky notes, a pen, a Sharpie. Usually use these if I need to mark off um, X library um, markings. Okay, so take the CD. If it has a sticker, I will use a hair dryer. So imagine there's a sticker right there. This goes with the CD. I'll use a hair dryer, get it warm, scrape off. Then I'm gonna look at the CD case for excessive wear. There's excessive wear on the case, I will replace it. I use this CD for props in my videos, so I'm going to keep it even though it has this crack in it. If I was to sell this CD, I would replace the case. So we have uh, cases here. Um, I have ones with black trays, so what I do in that instance is just put in a clear tray and put the black tray off the side. So then I open this up, I make sure it's complete the disc, if there's multiple discs, I do um, verify that it is correct with whatever's on the back. Then check the disc for scratches. If the disc is scratched, I will repair it. So this disc is good. There's no scratches as you can see. However, I am going to repair it just for demonstration purposes. So. Okay, so if your CD is scratched, I will put it into the EcoPro 2 for 30 seconds. Just go like this, put it down. Usually if I'm changing a case, I change the case when the CD is being repaired. It takes me about 20 seconds to change the case and then I have just a little bit extra time to just settle down, either start on the next CD or just wait for this one to open. Okay, once it's done, it's time to clean the pads. So I just have to change out the pads. I also did a video on that. I will link that in there. So now we just check the discs, make sure it is scratch free. If it's not, then we will do it again for another 30 seconds. So this one's good. So then I just put the CD back in, close it up, and then I'll stick it off to the side and just stack them up. Okay, so when I list the CD, I list using inventory lab. So I'm gonna scan the barcode, um, select the condition price and enter in my condition notes. Then what I will do is I will put the CD into a six by nine poly bag. This prevents the CD case from getting scratched. Um, the CD case opening, um, if it gets dropped, the CD, if you've ever dropped a CD case before, drops, it opens up, the CD goes flying and all that work you did to change the case and repair the CD is just undone and somebody might just put it back on the shelf. And now you're very good or like new condition CD is good or acceptable. So I'll just slide it right into the bag, close it up, make sure you're using bags that have suffocation warning labels on them. Put this off to the side. Then right there on the barcode, you're gonna put your um, sticker. So <laughs> we rated this very good. However, if it did actually have a crack like this one does, I would not list it in very good condition. I would do good and note that there's a cracked case. But there we go. So just put that right on and then I put it into my pile and then I move on to the next CD. 
So I hope you guys enjoyed this video.